There's been an unfortunate situation in the belief that, well, if the child's brain is developing at this rate of speed, we can just fill it up with all kinds of data of what's going on. And that unfortunately misses the point about what child development is all about. The initial part of the brain is, well, people think it's downloading data. The most unfunctional part of the brain is creativity. And, and this is where a child learns to put things together and acquire an experience of them. There are sequential stages and that is a development of creativity. If you bypass creativity by thinking the child's just a database for data, I can just download data into this child, then you might be filling up a machine with data but then this particular development of this child is not going to support its ability to use that data in a creative and functional way. And so therefore at one, thing, at one level this appears to be, oh, this is a great advantage, my child's reading earlier. And at another level, the concept of pushing that behavior interferes with previous behaviors of putting things together in a stepwise fashion. So while it might be able to read earlier, it's at a compromise that something else is being, is being not allowed. So uh, for a simple example, crawling before walking is a physiological and developmental necessity for a well-rounded child. And the tendency of a parent to say, well, I, my child was walking this early and push them from the crawling phase into the walking phase causes a lot of damage in the natural progression of evolution of this intelligence. So the effort on our part to make it better does not make it better. Data assembly can be acquired later. You can always put data in. If the machine can't process, I don't care how much data you put into it. So the first child development is really the freedom of of creativity and touching and tactile and putting things together at the rate of the child rather than force feeding it with data which bypasses normal neurological development.